what is leaving your love life and what is coming in. Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for joining me, Mystic Mia, here on Mostly in the Moment for another Love Pick a Card reading. We're looking at what's finally leaving your love life for good, something that you didn't like, something that wasn't good for you, something that you're totally over, something that you don't want anymore. And what is coming in, something great, beautiful, something you've been waiting for, something you didn't even know that you wanted before, or something you were hoping for that was a little bit of a reach, or you're saying it's finally time. So it's an exciting reading about your love life. Uh, this is a timeless reading, but the time that I'm posting this is around the Aries full moon during the uh, Aries and Libra eclipse season that we've been in all year. So it's really good for love. It's really good for starting something new and uh, especially in love relationships. So whenever you're watching this, this should resonate. Timestamps are below. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for your love and support and I wish you much love and light. Hi beautiful pal one with a cell site. We're looking at what is leaving your love life and what is coming in. So let's start with what is leaving? Material work. Okay, and came out in reverse. Okay, so I feel like um, like your career or your work outside of the relationship really took a lot of your time up or took up, took up so much time from your partner or both. Where it's like, when do we have time to just work on the relationship? It's like, how is there not enough time in the day to just focus on us? Isn't that kind of messed up in this world? Like, shouldn't this world be about love? Shouldn't we have, be able to spend time with the things that we love the most in this one lifetime that we get? And so I feel like um, that was always a kind of an issue where you might have felt in past relationships or the current one you're in that it's just like, this could be manageable. Like our relationship, hanging out with each other more, talking to each other, healing ourselves or, you know, having time with our families more, like that could be all resolved if we have had more time and didn't have to spend so much time at work. Maybe some of you were looking for a promotion or working overtime a lot or had to get a different job or, you know, it was just not forgiving. You just started a new job, so you couldn't really ask for time off and stuff. So it just really hindered the relationship. Um, work. Your, for you, for them, or for both of you. Healing heart, yeah. Because I feel like um, you have a lot of wisdom. And I feel like you pick partners um, or you're with a current partner that is also good with figuring things out emotionally. Um, maybe one of you is more emotionally intelligent than the other one, but it's like you wouldn't have picked each other if you weren't on the same like level somewhat, you know? So just kind of like, man, if we had more time, we could, we could solve anything between us, you know? Not just in our own relationship, but anything in our past, any baggage that we have, anything we have hindering us, blocking us from the future. So I feel like it wasn't really ever you or your person it was like the the heaviness of life it was the kind of responsibilities of life that kind of got in the way and that's leaving your love life so I don't know what's happening for you love uh, pile one but I don't know if someone rich is coming in if you're single or I don't know if one of you is getting a raise or um I don't know something's going to shift it says a windfall of money or um I don't know, getting like some sort of inheritance or something, but I feel like something is going to really, really help you out, whether you're currently in a connection or this is someone new coming in, where that's not going to be an issue anymore. Like not having enough time with each other. Wow, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's coming in. The High Priestess in reverse. And communicate yeah okay so I, I think you really like talking about like these wild spiritual topics just anything about not just healing but um things that you like to do things that you're passionate about things that you would do if you had all the money in the world all the time in the world all the resources that kind of thing you really like um diving deep 
into very complex and, and um, detailed thoughts and conversation. So I feel like there's something about um, not being able to do that with a partner before. I feel like you um, you just didn't have, if you're currently with a partner, you just didn't have the time to open up that deeply with them just because of life. Um, or you just weren't meeting the right people people like that they might have been slightly intuitive or more intuitive than normal but not like at your level so whether you're single or in a connection I feel like you're the relationship that you're coming into or evolving into you're going to be able to be your true intuitive self and be able to communicate like it's going to feel like I just felt this like <sighs> like just like a whoa like just your the whole heaviness and feeling like you can't breathe, just letting go. Like you can finally um, open up to your person um, on the level that you operate. It's kind of really frustrating if you operate at a higher level and you can't ever fully let yourself. It's like having a really nice car that really goes fast, but you can never drive it fast because you're always in gridlock traffic, you know? It's like finally being able to push the pedal all the way to the metal and like being like letting yourself free and being completely yourself. It feels like that feeling. So I feel like that's coming in for you in your love life. All right. So let's look at another thing that's leaving. Karmic relationship. Okay. So I do feel like um, it might have felt like you are always kind of like it's stuck in a karmic relationship like oh, was this relationship just to teach me lessons and to be honest all relationships are <laughs> right so um like any love relationship you can get into there's going to be lessons learned like that's it's, it's always going to have a, a bit of a karmic aspect to it um but i feel like for a lot of you know highly intuitive folks like yourself um you do have more difficult relationships and harder lessons to learn um, just because of the nature of if, if you're really intuitive you're probably like a older soul and you so you have like harder lessons you want to learn or you want you have like a lot of different karma that you want to release more in this lifetime so you don't have to come back or don't have to come back as much you know so like your love life is kind of more chaotic <laughs> okay so if you're wondering about that the selkie and her skin reclaiming your authenticity um so it's kind of might have been really difficult for you to kind of find yourself in um these relationships or relationship situations because you probably had a like a varying different types of romantic connections or varying different kinds of experiences in those romantic connections or the current one that you're in so it's like really sometimes really hard to kind of have like find out it's like wait is this me or is this like like is this just for the lesson because I feel like it's so like different like su such a different so many different kinds of love experiences or such difficult hard ones so it's maybe like a few hard ones or a lot of little difficult ones or both I mean depending on how old your soul is and so you're probably like questioning like why did, why <laughs> like why is this even happening to me aren't I a good person aren't I a really intuitive person don't I make good life decisions this is why it's a spiritual thing so you can yay finally see the end of that the end of kind of feeling like is this a karmic relationship like come on where's my divine counterpart where's my one love you know love of the lifetime all right so Let's see something coming in for you. Pile one. Something else coming in for you. The chariot. The flow. And do nothing. Okay, which is kind of funny, right? Because like the chariot is like, go, 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 go. And do nothing. It's like, eh, let's just stay here for a little while. But both of them came out in reverse. So I'm getting this real push and pull energy from your love life. So I see like the flow and like do nothing. So it's kind of like being in the moment. Um, I'm getting that what's coming in for your love life is it's going to flow more naturally, more organically. 
there's going to be ebbs and flows, but they're going to happen so perfectly. Like when you want to move forward in the connection, your partner is going to want to move forward in the connection. If you kind of want to stay at where you are and just enjoy where you both are in the connection, they will too. It'll, it'll happen naturally, organically. And I think this is what's been kind of a little bit frustrating for you and your love life recently. It just felt like you and your partner were never on the same page. And you're going to see now that that's going away because I feel like whatever's happening for you, pile one, like you're going to be able to talk about like talk about whatever you want to talk about like fully as your true authentic self with your full intuition on you know full power not having to like decrease the power for people around you not having to work um not having to have your work interfere with your relationship meaning things are balanced in your life not having to deal with karmic lessons in the way that you have in your love life before and then things just naturally uh, flowing in your in your love life there's something going on here and if if you know if you pick this pile it's kind of be pretty obvious to you that like yeah you're you're evolving your consciousness like you're leveling up in your um spiritual body your consciousness so this is kind of going from like 3d to 5d so i feel like whatever you've been going through for a long time in your love life and your life in general is completely changing to something much better you can tell because it's like oh karmic issues over fully being your authentic self things being balanced in your life going with the flow it's like very much 5d energy so i do feel like power one um like honestly like your love life is completely changing to something wholly better um and if you pick this pile, you probably know it too. <laughs> All right, pile one. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, I really appreciate it like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile two. This is Alarmar. We're looking at what is leaving your love life and what's coming in. So let's start with what is leaving your love life, finally peace oh it's so interesting because in this deck the two of swords always kind of not the most negative card but it's kind of has like slightly negative connotation um but in this deck it's, it's finally something positive <laughs> but i feel like um with the peace and the coffin here okay it feels like what's leaving your love life is this feeling of where is this ever going to go? You know, whether you're with someone right now or this is um, in regards to past folks and then new people coming in or new romantic love coming in for you. Um, it, it feels like this is finally the ending of like stop and go I'm getting it's like always being confused about like are we together is this gonna go somewhere are they gonna call me back do they like me will they ever tell me their feelings do they want the same things for me are they ever gonna tell me what they want from this connection is it always going to be me who has to initiate these things are they down for 50 50 do they know what they want do I know what they want like do I know what they want yeah or what I want like I feel like there's always been so many questions and it always hindered your romantic relationships um, where it's kind of like you kind of stayed in it maybe, but it never really went anywhere and it wasn't for the lack of trying, at least from your end. Um, it was just like one question off the other and it was just kind of like you're going into the connection blind and there was no change or growth, right? Um, and maybe it was like one painful death after another, or it might've been a connection where you always kind of broke up or took a break or, you know, got back together or something like that. So you might've had a lot of that in the past connection, um, past relationships in general, or in your current connection and spirit saying like, that's finally over. That's finally over for you. So what's coming in? What's coming into your love life? Eight of gems, hard work, okay, and challenges. Okay, so I feel like you're you're getting some, okay, so if you're single, this is someone you coming in, or if you're currently in a connection, this is 
this is the change happening in your connection where the other person will step up to any challenge that you know you can tell if someone wants to be in a relationship or not because they will step up if there's a issue they'll try to handle the issue if there's um an argument you know they'll come back and argue with you because they care you know uh, care enough to do that if they don't even if they don't agree with you they'll come back and try to um, compromise or at least try to find some solution Um, and the you know people who really love you they will get try to get ahead of this situation or challenge or whatever needs to be done or what the relationship requires you know like that's that's a partner who cares they love you they want to show you and they show up and I feel like you're never going to have to question that again from your partner because they will work hard in any challenge, train whistles, confirmation. Uh, whether it's like you know having a decision, big or small, um, doing healing work, inner work with you, you know, talking things out or um, establishing goals, working on goals or big projects together. Um, keep upkeep for the relationship, which is relationships are hard work, you know, and. It's, it's easier when both people are on board and can notice things and try to do things from, and, you know, take their role seriously as, you know, the other person's lover. So I feel like that's what's coming in for you because I do feel like there's like, that was a kind of an issue where you weren't really getting enough or you might have just got enough at that time to kind of hold you over and you know you're not playing games anymore like that part of you is dead like that those kind of connections are dead like you're that's that's done what's what's here in front of you now and what the only thing you're accepting into your energies especially in romantic love relationships is people who are willing to do the work who can step up and who are putting in as much as you and maybe even go beyond above and beyond sometimes or you know, take care of things that you might have not even noticed that needed to be taken care of because they're on top of their side of the work, you know? I think I'm hearing refreshing, so I feel like for a lot of you, that's like, yeah, finally. Um, Because I feel like you're like, what, was I supposed to do all this? Like, I don't think, I don't think I'm supposed to do all this. Or, um, wait, am I, am I being dumb here? Or like, but like, isn't this a really good catch? Like, uh, wait, what am I, you know, like if it wasn't so obvious, like the right answer wasn't so obvious. Like, why didn't you just leave them then? Or why didn't you ask for them? Why didn't you bring this issue up? Because it wasn't always so obvious for you, like that this was an issue or that this was something that you need to bring up or this was, you know, wasn't going somewhere or, you know, like it wasn't so obvious. Like maybe looking back in hindsight, you might think that this person or these folks that you dated you might have missed the signs or something but it wasn't so obvious when you were in it and I can guarantee you that a lot of people feel the same way when they're in a similar situation to you where it's like you know like you think everything is going fine like there's some things that you don't think you need to bring up sometimes or that you need to question or you don't think is a problem you know so I do feel like like, it wasn't on you, for sure, <laughs> you know. Um, and you're, it's going to be easy to see when you when you have someone who is more forthcoming, you know. All right, so let's see something else that is leaving your love life. Poker face. Taking a chance, risks, options, not showing hand, gambling. And beauty. Grace, loveliness, integrity. Okay, so I do feel like I got two things. One is that you're willing to kind of give it a go again. So whether it's with the current person or a new person, you're like, okay, I'll give this a chance. And it's a bit of a risk for you because this person is good looking or you're good looking or both. (laughs) And so you're like, you know what? I normally wouldn't give this a chance or a second chance, but I feel like I'm going to give this a go. I feel like I'm going to take a risk. And go for it. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like it's someone new. Um, like seeing if you still got it or something. Let's see. Pull extra card, get a confirmation. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like this is tied to something with like the home or children or um, beauty or money. Okay, so there's like an extra layer to your romantic relationships. Yeah, taking a chance. Okay, so I feel like, for example, like if you are a woman that wants to have kids, um, you really don't want to waste your time with anyone that may not um, fit the bill uh, just because, uh, you know, you don't want to, you want kids by a certain time or you're getting older or something. So it's like, I feel like you um, were before kind of nervous about taking a risk on someone whom you might think like might not be a contender, but you're like, why not? You know, this person, like they're too good looking or they can have anyone. They might be a little bit more richer or more, you know, um, experienced or they, like something like, you know, they might be a little bit older or something like that. Like, I feel like you're taking a chance on someone that's, like, you feel like it's a little bit out of your league and you normally wouldn't do that at this time because of your experiences in your past, your wisdom that you have, but, like, you're, like, willing to do that. You know what it is? Okay. It just took me so... This took me a second. You're incredibly valuable. And I feel like you lost... Um, you kind of forgot about that or you know it but you kind of have to remind yourself a lot nowadays because either you're single or you've been single for a long time or you're with you've been with the wrong people or you're with the wrong person now and so you are incredibly beautiful you're incredibly you have like so much talent you you'd be great in handling anything anything work related in the home outside of the home being a wife being a mother being um a husband or father being good there for the family being you know just you have it all like I feel like you have such a high uh, value but something was turned off like people couldn't see you and I feel like you guys just got a bunch of like like losers or people who are just not at your level that were thrown at you Apologize for using that word, losers. I don't usually use that word, but I think there's a reason. <laughs> I don't know why. But it just feels like you are just getting not the right quality potential partners thrown your way. And that there was a reason for that. Yeah, the universe, uh, spirit kind of threw me for a loop for this one. And I think it's, um, it's not for the lack of you taking a risk. There was just no risk to take. There wasn't anyone that matched your value, your quality. I feel like you do, you would take a risk. I feel like you have taken a risk. I feel like you've shown the universe, like, hey, like you show, you give me a quality person, and I will, you know, give it my all, give it, give it a shot. And um, and now I'm getting like spirit is throwing valuable people so I feel like there were just not the right quality people coming around you surprisingly and the queen of cups wow okay so the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups so yeah for sure yeah it just feels like you are hidden hidden or something um yeah we got peacock beware of great pride okay um, all right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. This took me a little, little bit to kind of figure out, but this, this was like a complex one, a complex message spirit, like it, it threw me for a loop. Okay. So you have a really high quality. You might have known that you might've been very cocky, <laughs> you know, you might've been very 
prideful. And then you went through a lot of, uh, then you went through a romantic relationship situation and very difficult experience. Maybe one, maybe a few, maybe for a long time, short time, whatever it was. Um, and it took you a long time. You lost your confidence to build up that confidence again, to remind yourself that you have such high quality. And then once you realize that, you just had like a dry spell, even when you like in terms of having good quality people come to you. If it happens in one area, it usually happens in many areas. So it might have been not just your romantic love life, but it could have happened like with opportunities, with friends or work or anything else. But at least in your love life, it just felt like you were not meeting the right quality people. Um, and Spirit is saying that's finally leaving. You're they're like kind of showing you to other people now because they did have you hidden. They had they had you covered, and it was because of a lesson of pride. You are very beautiful and you are very valuable. You're very uh, intuitively smart and emotionally smart. You're also very good physically, not just not you're not you don't just look good, but you like work hard. You're you're smart, you know. You're a great conversationalist. You have you have interesting hobbies. Like you're a good great person all around. I think that made getting um, partners too easy for you, or yeah. And so you were knocked down a peg. I'm getting you learn you t- you learned a lot of lessons. And it made you stronger and come out even, you know, even better through the experiences. But it just, um, it might have kind of stopped you from taking risks as much. I think you were taking too many risks before with like high quality people or people that you perceive to be high quality. And then after all these lessons, you're realizing what, high quality actually is like what a high value man and woman actually is and you became that and now you're going to be attracting the sex that you're attracted to that are higher quality because you become the higher quality version so I feel like it's yeah that's that's what it is okay so it was just a long lesson to get you to (laughs) humble yourself a little bit and you were kind of hidden from the world because I'm like asking the universe like why were they hidden then like yeah we hid them we hid pile too so they can kind of you know change their perspective on what high value man or woman actually is what high value person actually is in terms of love so be prepared pile two you know um for the unveiling like you're gonna see a lot of people (laughs) just can't become interested in you is what I'm getting. Uh, whether you're with someone or not, you better be prepared. Okay, and so let's see what else, lastly, is coming in for you in terms of love. Beautiful pile two. The Fool card, a single drop. How beautiful. And the Law of Attraction, yep. <laughs> be prepared, pile two. Yeah, a drop in the ocean, I'm hearing, but at the same time, The law of attraction. I feel like, I feel like you you weren't only just um, hidden away from, you know, attractive potential partners or high value potential partners. You were also hidden from a lot of different opportunities um, in work, in terms of the right resources, right people around you, um, goals that you want to manifest, a lot of accomplishments. Um, yeah, just you are kind of hidden from a lot of opportunities not just in romantic love but a lot of things um for this reason um you're very well-rounded like you have a lot of skills talents knowledge wisdom and beauty uh you're you're like not just like you're not like a double threat or a triple threat you're like a quadruple quintuple threat you know like and i think you know it I think you are really humbled. I think you went through a really difficult dark night of the souls. I think it took a long time for you to gain back your confidence um, as this new version of yourself or with this new belief system or outlook on life. And I feel like the universe is dropping you back into the ocean, like dropping you back 
into the world and you're gonna you're you're about to reconnect to the to the world but in such a different way than you have before it's like a different version of you is now being dropped into the world and you might be so surprised what you attract in with a lot of attraction as this new version of yourself so be ready pile two okay i want to get a, a timing card just because where's my timing deck because i feel like time is of the essence for you pal. like i feel like it's like when because i feel like you need to be prepared for it for some reason okay i got two cards kind of going too fast slow down take your time and let it be a mystery okay well there you go <laughs> um so that probably means it's happening now. I feel like your energy is telling you, your intuition is telling you it's going to happen any second now. It's going to happen any moment. It could happen t the next second, the next minute, the next hour, the next day, the next week. And I feel like you feel it next month, whatever. Like I feel like you know it's like here for you. And so Spirit's like, we're going to keep it a mystery because it's literally right here. And I, that's why I think I went a little bit more into this pile and did more clarifications because they really wanted to, like Spirit really wanted to prepare you. Like, I, they're like, I don't think you know what's coming in for you right now. Like, you don't even, like, you're prepared, but you you have no idea. You have no idea. Like, just, it's kind of like... You know, you're about to go down that roller coaster. It's like, you know it's coming, but the spirit's just like, like, here's a glimpse. Like, here's here's why we have to put the, the seatbelt on or something. It's like, we've been preparing you for this. You probably already intuitively know something about, like, if this, is, this is a huge drop the spirit is putting on you. So, like, if, you, if this is your energy and you feel it, like, you know, you've been pre being prepared for it. You know it's coming. Um, I think this is just a confirmation from Spirit to give you like a little heads up so you're not like, you know, walking off this cliff unprepared. It's like, yeah, we got you this jetpack. Like, we got you this parachute. Like, we know this is happening, this hand glide. But... Just to let you know, like, the edge of the cliff is coming in, in just 0. 0.2 seconds. All right, pile two. Hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, I really appreciate a like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile three of the green calcite. We're looking at what is leaving your life, your love life, and what is coming into your love life. So let's start with what's leaving your love life, finally. The devil, okay, you had some dark energy around your love life, pile three, or you had you had something attacking you or something that was evil eyeing you or just something that was like hindering your love life very strongly. It could be a bad habit. It could be um, like a drug addiction, sex addiction uh, for you or your person or both. There might have been different kinds of addictions for both of you. Really, really, really rough past for you or your person or both. Um, it could be the current person you're with or it could be people from your past or multiple people that you dated in the past. Just like there was just really, really heavy energy around your um, romantic love relationships. Um, yeah, so it just felt like a really dark cloud um, over your relationship. Which, I mean, not for nothing. I mean, that's like really good sex. But at the same time, like really, really hard, <laughs> right? Uh, not enough, yeah. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issue, jealousy. Yeah, just like a ton of bad stuff. I'm so sorry, pile three. That's really tough. And you have a green calcite here. I feel like you have such a, such a warm pure heart you're such a loving person you have such a big heart you have such so much love to give it's usually those folks that have the cruelest love situations um or experiences regarding love not just romantic love but love in general right so yeah you know 
you know life. <laughs> you have wisdom. You've 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 had experiences that m- most people might not. Um, yeah, or you might have just had really really bad relationships. You know, abuse of all kinds, or cheating, or something like that. Um, where 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 they just didn't have a sense of identity, or you didn't, and it just caused a lot of problems. Both of you were just on the wrong page, like using each other as like a life boat and it's just didn't yeah yeah just tough 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 so that's finally leaving pile three so that's exciting news um let's see what's coming in for you you see how the sun just kind of went away let's see abundance is coming in oh wow okay abundance give it time everything in divine timing okay so i feel like with give it time with this little plant growing i feel like this is something that is um going to grow interesting okay so i'm getting that um you're gonna get a long-term relationship come in so whether you're with this person and you're giving him another shot or you're working things through or this is something new or this is someone new coming in I feel like what's happening for you in your love life is you're going to be with them to see things grow in your life. So you might see your career grow, their career grow, the money you both have grow, the home that you live in might get some improvements, might become more cozy, you might move in with each other or you might move to a bigger place or you might, you know, you might move to many place up- upgrading each time you go. So I feel like this is this is what's coming in. I feel like the ability to finally grow with a person long term. I feel like with the the kinds of connections you've had in your life, the love relationships that you've had in your life were so difficult that um, they were either short, they were on and off, um, they were like situations where the one person goes to the other person or they just ended badly or you know it was kind of like hell being in a relationship with them so it wasn't even like you were in a relationship with them you were just kind of in hell or kind of in jail or kind of uh in a dark night of soul not a real healthy relationship so i feel like the connections you've had mostly in the past were so difficult that you didn't really had a chance to grow with anyone you know maybe you never even had a chance to have a a, a plant with your partner because you know you'd break up before you could even get a plant you know let alone a pet cat or dog or something or even move in with each other it's like the second you they moved in or you moved in you'd be moving out so it feels like there's like never any long-term stability to where you can to have the experience of seeing things grow um with each other your individual careers your relationship you know your your goals in life, your abundance. So, you know, because like anytime you pour a lot of time and energy in anything, a relationship or a home or anything, it just gets better and better and better and better, right? So if you haven't had that kind of stability, like you might have a lot of just shifty, temporary things in your life that never felt like it evolved to anything, right? So I feel like I feel like you're giving you're getting that finally pile three. That's so exciting. All right, so let's see what else is leaving your love life. Not today, okay. Boundaries, hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset. And Imrama. Wonder, voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. Yeah, so I feel like um, you really just had people, your past connections, love connections, just really were avoidant. They didn't want to talk about things. They didn't know how to talk about things. They just had too many things going on in their own life that they can't even really have time for you or this connection. Um, maybe some of them were a little bit rude or a little bit disrespectful or just, you know, overwhelmed, stressed out all the time in a bad headspace. 
Um, you know, it's just, and I feel like you were here just kind of like going deep on your own and kind of living a one-sided relationship where it's like, you are not just doing the inner work of like the things going on in your own life with like work or friends or family, but also inner work with the relationship just on your side. So it just kind of felt like it was a one-sided relationship, like hardcore. Um, but like you didn't stop growing and that's how you got out of this energy. You broke the cycle. I am hearing um, that you, this is like a, uh, a past life cycle or like a bloodline karmic cycle that you, you ended. Like that was really difficult work, Pile 3. You might have been like, why did I get this kind of love life? Why did I get this kind of life experience? What you did to break that cycle was like, I'm getting thousands of years in the making. Like you, you broke a really powerful, maybe hundreds, you know, but like it was like a long cycle that was very difficult to, to break and that, that's what you did. That's incredible, Pile 3. Like, do you know, like, how many people will go through so many lifetimes just repeating the same mistake over and over and again and how it compiles? And, like, you're here. You went through the inner work. And you didn't let anything stop you from, ke like, keeping to grow and evolve. That's why you're getting that growth and, and evolution with your partner now in your love life because you kept doing that and you didn't let anyone stop you. I'm becoming very passionate. I feel like Pile 3, you're a very passionate person. I mean, like, the green calcite, like, like, you are, like, picked. You're picked by God, the universe, by your ancestors to, like, be the one to break these chains, you know? It's, like, really, like, you're high level. All right, so... Let's see what's coming in. Something good is coming in for your love life. Finally in this these times. The wheel. Oh, that's the wheel of fortune. The cycle of regeneration. Oh, didn't I just... Oh, wow. Didn't I... Oh, wow. <laughs> see, I've been doing this for like so long now. On I've been on YouTube for like, what, seven years now? And I will always, always still be shocked when there's like a synchronicity that spirit shows me because it's like how how can it not be amazing you're connecting to the divine like the divine's connecting to you you're always connected to the divine but like this is proof you know it's never it never it will never stop being amazing okay the cycle of regeneration and patience moon cycles okay so we have two cycles here you know and th that's that's crazy. I feel like this was this is something you patiently have been working on, chipping away at little by little. Like I feel like like I am feeling it's like generational. Like whatever you like broke the cycle of was many lifetimes, whether it was your own in past lifetimes or it was passed through family or whatever it was. Um, you finally broke that cycle. And I feel like the wheel is starting to now finally turn. I want to get one more clarifier for you, pile three. The two of wands. It's like the doorway. Doorway to what? Seven of wands. Okay, so we're getting like disagreement from your partner, disagreement from the people around you, and cup. You should accept valid criticism. And the cup in the teapot usually denotes like a friend. Why criticism though? I don't get what the criticism is for. Two of Pentacles, okay? 272. Alright, so I looked up the angel number 272, um, which adds up to 11, because I think the timestamp for this pile is also 33. So I'm like, there's something significant here, right? 33, we have 11, 272. Alright, and then cycles. So I'm like, what, what are you trying to say, spirit? 
Um, it's like something about like your angels, your spirit guides will always be by you. It's time to be introspective, meditate, you know, patience. Okay. For what reason? What's going on here? Seek up, seek out information that will help you accept valid criticism. Like, I don't understand what spirit is trying to say here. Coins, money will be coming to you. Okay, the nine of gems. All right, so I'm getting spirit is saying you wanted to experience growth within your romantic partnership. And I feel like like, I feel like spirit always has you protected in terms of money. Like, if you ever needed money to, you know, get out of a bad situation or make rent or, you know, have enough to take that class or, you know, you need to buy a new car or fix that appliance or whatever it is. Like, I feel like spirit always found a way to get it to you. I feel like you're always protected in terms of money. Um, but I feel like... And I do feel like you also want to have a lot of money. I mean, who doesn't? But I feel like you specifically want a lot of money because um, you associate it with um, not just value and status, but the, for the sake of getting out of bad situations. You're like, oh, if I had money, I would not have to deal with this kind of situation. And people would be, you know, see me differently or something like that see my status, my value differently. And also I, it would have got me out of a lot of sticky situations in the past is what I'm getting. And I feel like spirit is kind of saying like, you know, no, the, the wheel of fortune is finally working towards you, but it's not going to happen like overnight. Like it's going to happen with growth. Like you came into this life purposely to experience growth with your romantic love partner and um, those you care and love around you. So Spirit's like, you're meant to have a lot of money. You are right about that. <laughs> you might even have like a lot of like rich people habits, personalities, attitudes, or something like that. A look, taste. <laughs> but um, yeah, because you're probably intuitive. So you know that you're meant for a lot of money. But um, Spirit is saying it will happen over time. I want to confirm. This is such a... Why is Spirit being so coy? Okay, three of wands. So now we have the two of wands, the seven of wands, the three of wands. It's a... It's, uh... Okay, because when I saw the two of wands, it's like, yeah, there's a door open um, or opening, but you're not really going through it. But something is opening up for you. Spirit's like, it, the door just opened. You're just walking through it. Don't expect everything like tomorrow. But the opportunity to have this and make this happen might be tomorrow. You know, like the first step, like getting your foot in the door, that might be tomorrow. But don't expect like you to be like in that relationship, in that home, with that amount of money, with that success, like tomorrow. The opportunity to start that might come tomorrow but not that whole life. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't think you mind. You're like, I will take that. Like, that's what I wanted in the first place. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Nest, yeah. They're like, what is available to you is their people. So I feel like you needed the partnership. I feel like you needed the right love and support system. So I don't know if you had um, a not a good family that you grew up with or not the right kind of love and support from them. That's what you're going to be getting whether it's through friend or so family or through coworkers or whatever and your partner. So I feel like spirit is giving you the right people and then what you do with that is up to you. But I feel like a lot of money, a lot of abundance is on the horizon for you. So I'm really excited to see what you will do with this. And I feel like you're really excited to see what will come of this too. Cause I feel like you've been such like a, you know, had to like defend yourself, look out for yourself and like, protect yourself and like get yourself out of so much shit all the time look at this beautiful mermaid she's just like i'm gonna be friends with a dolphin because my person just ditched me again you know like you just you just did your own thing you just kept doing your own thing 
And so like Spirit's like, well, now what will you do when you have the right love and support? Because you finished that lesson. That's not happening anymore. So now we're just giving you the people, the right love and support, the right divine soulmate level people. Let's see what you can do with that. And um, obviously you're meant for money. I want to do one more um, clarification about the money. Because it's like, is that immediate? Is that what you use to... Six of Wands. How many Wands? That's so crazy. Two, three, seven, six. The Six of Wands is victory. Like immediately? Yeah, karma. Reap. You will reap what you have sown. So I do feel like there is a little bit like an influx of money for you immediately to in order to kind of um, protect yourself. Um, yeah, and take care of yourself so you can um, grow and kind of what's it called... Um, like cultivate the relationships that are coming into your life now yeah because I feel like for most of you this is like something new because I feel like this is such a heavy energy that you're leaving that it's like it might not just be related to your love life you know we saw family like you need family um or people that are like family to you yeah so you have victory so I do feel like you might get some like you might get an influx of money right away but like your purpose is to let it keep it grow like Use it to take care of yourself and your connections and use your connections to build more money and that life that you really want and things that you can grow with them. All right, pile three. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I really appreciate like a comment. I went a little bit hard on this and pulled more clarifications because I just felt like this was such a powerful, important reading that Spirit had come through. So um, if you resonated, I'd really like to know in the comments. But with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile four with the bismuth. We're going to be looking at what's leaving your love life and what's coming in. So let's start with what is finally leaving your love life. By the way, I love this like bismuth color. Really pretty. Okay, um, the Hierophant and it came out in reverse. Okay, just never getting to that marriage or getting to that long term commitment. I feel like this is marriage though. Like it's like almost getting to the um long term commitment or getting to the getting to the aisle, the wedding aisle, but then just not making it. So I feel like maybe in the past you want you dated with the intent of finding someone to settle down with or at least be in a long-term relationship with if not at least you know um getting to uh the wedding getting married and it feels like it's come so close but it didn't get there maybe it was someone specific the last person you were just with or someone that you had the, as like the love of your life and it just didn't never reach that marriage status or like you know the connection never really got to that level of connection um, that you've always wanted or it might be kind of where you are now with your person feeling stuck like it's not getting there or I don't know if they want to go there so I feel like marriage is involved with this uh, pile just not being able to find the right person that you want to marry um, never being able to get there with the person that you did want in the past or or um not getting there currently now or might you might not be finding the right people that you do want to marry or are good potentials for that at this time if you're single so just a lot of different scenarios here the grim reaper yep i'm just gonna die without getting married the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life it might have felt like someone someone kind of did you dirty or just kind of cut the connection off when you thought it was going to marriage or a long-term connection and it just came out of nowhere and it broke your heart um maybe you felt like you already married or you already had a relationship with the person that you were meant to be 
and you just feel like, oh, it's never going to happen again. And like, you're just going to accept that, that it might not have ever happen again with that person or in life ever. Like you might not meet anyone as good as them, or you might not ever consider marriage again, period. So this is like a very, this is someone who's like thought about this. This is someone who has been heartbroken. This is someone who had goals, that they, personal goals that they want to achieve in this lifetime in terms of partnership, love, family. And, you know, something kind of changed that narrative for you in your life. It just like, it didn't go what how you thought it was going to go. So I feel like Spirit is saying, that's what's leaving. That's what's leaving. Something that you thought that you might not be able to find, might not find someone good enough, or might not be able to have or have again, that's that that's changing in your love life. So let's see what's coming in. This is exciting. Six of Gens. Generosity is Six of Pentacles. And no, it's not the right time. Interesting. I see. Okay. I feel like there's someone coming in to make you an offer, but you're saying no. I feel like this is someone who you did want to um, marry at one point or be in a serious committed relationship at with, with at one point, and they're coming back and you're saying no to them, but you're saying no to them in a nicer way than they rejected you. And that's going to switch things around for you. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Powerful. I feel like this is like a final test. It's a final boss. And I feel like someone that you did want, did want to have a serious committed relationship with or get married to um, but no longer want that with is coming back and you're going to have to say no to them. This might be someone that you still want to be with, but uh, you might sense that they're coming back for the wrong reason. Um and so you're like, hey, like, no, like, I don't think, like, you know, that's a good idea. You know, we don't really know each other right now. Or you just got out of a connection. Like, you know, I think you're just kind of emotional right now. Like, that would be inappropriate to kind of jump into something when you're not in a good headspace or, you know, whatever it is. Or this could be genuinely someone that you were interested in before. And you're like, no, you know what? I have changed. Like, I did want it back then, but I'm a different person now. Um, they might be like, oh, well, you know, let's get to know each other then. Let's go on a date. It's like, you know what? Like, that was such a difficult experience for me that I'm actually not interested in giving this another shot. You know, I, I feel like this is something that's happening. Um, you know, you might be, you know, I say something nice like, oh, yeah, like, you know, they ask you out for dinner or coffee and you're like, oh, like for closure's sake, like, okay, like I can give you at least that. And then they might ask you for something more and you're like, no, you know, so I do feel like there's something about like you saying no, but you say it in such a nice way, like in a way that they don't deserve because you didn't, they didn't treat you that way. That like switches your karma. Like, I feel like this is the final test. Like that's how you're going to know that this is coming in. So what is this that is coming in? Let's, let's see what's leaving and then what's coming in. Because I feel like something is changing in your love life, like in real time right now, pile four. Like right now, this is happening. Okay. So, oh, wrong, wrong card. But I pulled it, so let's just see. Illusionary success. The chaser. Fear of abandonment, chasing codependencies. Yeah, so I feel like you are kind of the person always chasing these like impossible dreams, these illusionary, you know, situations. So I do feel like like in this these past situations, maybe you were pushing too hard for commitment, or you know, maybe you wanted one thing but they wanted another, and you couldn't, you know come to terms that maybe this person that you are really infatuated with doesn't want the same thing as you um or doesn't want a relationship on that level with you um yeah I felt like you were kind of the chaser in a lot of these situations and in a way where you're kind of 
you know, it kind of it's kind of saying like if you were told your friend, they'd be like, oh, you're kind of delusional. Like, did you really think that that was gonna happen? Or like, yeah, that's kind of a little bit far fetched. Or like, you know, you kind of you might have to, you might want to let that go. Like that's like you're kind of like being a little stalkerish or intense. Or that's like a crush gone too far. You know that kind of situation. Um, Coral's wisdom it says colony, delicacy, fragility. Work that are created, works that are created over great periods of time. Yeah, I feel like you're a work of art, I'm hearing. Like, the fact that you are a chaser doesn't mean that you were low value or anything. It actually means the opposite. It means someone who really, really valued love who is a heart-centered person, who was really pure, like too pure, you know, or sometimes it's just kind of like destructive, you know, like so much love, but without the light, you know, you had so much love to give and you had so much love that to you wanted to receive, but um, you gained the wisdom, you've gained the wisdom through experiences of why... Um, it wasn't your love why this method was kind of scaring away people and it was mostly just because you have such a big heart and you have such you know big expectations for love in this lifetime that most people can't understand that you know they think it's delusional um, and that's not the case um, it's just that you might have been a little bit naive. You might have had to, um, you might have had like a spiritual awakening. You might have had um, difficult experiences in your past where you didn't have the amount of love. You might have been energy sensitive. You might have been a very passionate, creative person, whatever it is, like that meaning divinely connected, highly intuitive. You might have been really energy sensitive. You might have had a really potent, powerful, strong energy and capacity to love, which most, not a lot of people do, but you just didn't have, um, the, the light, you, you didn't have the, it practice, you didn't practice your intuition enough to see if people, um, could handle that, right? And it's, like, funny because I'm getting this image of, like, you and your partner, like, like, I feel like this is, like, a little bit naive, right? Like, a naive version of you, young, thinking of, like, what love is. And then, like, an older version of you that has that crazy amount of strong, deep love that you've always wanted, but just in a more mature fashion, you know? Like, it's, it's not, it's not how you visualize, it's much better. It's not what you dreamt of before. It's much better. As you evolved, your dreams evolved, that amount of love that you want to share with a partner is still there, still available, still going to happen, still happening for you. Just in a more mature and better way than you thought when you were, you know, like a young kid in terms of um, spiritual and emotional maturity. Yeah, so I, I, it just it's tough because you had so much love to give and you needed so much love that it sucked that you had to go through that experience, right? It's like it's, it makes you so sad, right? When the people who need the love the most um, don't get it, like it just tears you up. But and who are so like love focused and love centered in life, and they're the ones who <laughs> has to go through all this stuff, right? But that's that's where you find the best love stories and that's where love prevails for you in the end if you stick with it and you mature and you get the light with the love and then you know magic right so what, what is coming in for you in terms of love the floating one between worlds yeah so I feel like you're in a transitional place right now yeah it's interesting because pile four I feel like specifically you your pile like you're in this transition right now stay in integrity Yeah. 
So I do feel like you're on the road to finding the one or reconnecting with the one, whoever this one, the one is. Um, but it's like kind of awkward right now because like you're in that in-between phase where you're not like dating the a-holes or the, you know, annoying, disrespectful, don't not worth your time people. But you're not at the point where you've found this person yet. Um, so spirits like you're in the you're on the road. You're in this transition right now. And in that transition, you're going to get some tests where people are going to come up to you and want to give this a shot, but they're not going to be of your caliber. They're not going to be what you're looking for. There might be people from your past, and you're going to have to say no, and that's going to be a sign to you, your higher self, your spirit team, and the universe that, like, no, you're ready for someone that you deserve. I'm going to pull a card to clarify more of this energy. Okay. The Knight of Swords. You're going to have to be like, I feel like sometimes you, you're such a kind soul that it's hard for you to say no sometimes. Like, I feel like you'll give almost anyone a chance or you'll continue to talk to someone even if you're not interested in them or, you know, you'll be too nice to people that don't deserve it. And Spirit's like, no, you have to be a little bit more sharp. You have to be a little bit more... Like the new version of you when you're interacting with these folks that are not worth your time. That you have to be clear, you have to be concise, like be the person that you would want them to be. Like if the roles were reversed and they were rejecting you, like how would you want them to do it? Be, you know, short, concise, to the point, very clear message, but it's kind and it's honest and it's not too much and that's it. You know, a lot of us who are very empathic and intuitive, like we have so many problems from our childhood or experiences or trauma and love that we overdo it. And through like, and like this person isn't your person. They're not meant to get that, you know, 20 paragraphs, <laughs> you know, or um, if you love someone, you shouldn't give them 20 paragraphs to read in the first place either. Just like, you know, like, they're not worth explaining every your whole life story to. They're not worth giving more love and attention and kindness and the days that they deserve, you know? Um, save that for your, your people that you care about. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Okay, what is this wish being granted? Handshake. Meeting a stranger could be important. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this... This person could be a stranger or celebration and enjoyment. Ooh, so I'm getting some sort of invite maybe. And lastly, the king of swords. Okay, so I do feel like after this test, you do get someone that you might meet this new that you, you know, have fun with. And I feel like it's like a little bit more... Like, there's less pressure. Like, this person comes in, you're, like, so proud of yourself. You're like, look at me. I said no in a nice way. I rejected them how I would want to be rejected, you know? Um, rejection isn't even, like, the right word. It's, like, not compatible, you know? It's just, like, um, like, it's not, it's, it shouldn't be insulting. It shouldn't be, like, you shouldn't take it as re rejection if someone says no, you know? Like, some people could like chocolate cake. Some people could like vanilla cake. Some people could like strawberry cake. It's like if someone comes along and it's like, oh, yeah, you want to go out with me? It's like, oh, yeah, no, sorry. Like I, you know, I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't think we're compatible or, or you know, I don't feel any, um, I, don't, I don't think I like you in that way or whatever or whatever, however you want to say it. Like I'm even having a hard time. Should we figure out how to like calmly reject someone i can't stop using that word okay say no to someone it's how to say no because as soon as you say that no to that one person i feel like you're feeling good and you're like yes like look what i did and then i feel like then you meet someone new 
who you talk to and have fun with. So you meet, might meet this person at an event or um, just while you're out somewhere, but you do have a conversation. But I, I do feel like there's something going on in the background or something. Um, and I feel like you two kind of hit it off and there's no pressure because I feel like you're so like, you're like, I can say no. You know, you don't feel like you have to like say yes to, to the next person that like likes you or that's attractive or that might seem like the right fit. Like you're like, oh yeah, like I can have a conversation with someone and not worry about like, are, are we going to get married and have kids tomorrow? Like, are we going to go on a date tomorrow? Do I have to go home with them or do I have to pay for their date? Like, you know, like this, like you don't have to, there's no pressure there anymore. Um, five of swords why the knight of wands I'm, I'm getting that's your ego in fact it might be the hardest thing you have to do but I feel like feeling tied down or frustrated I feel like you kind of um, just have a conversation just having a good conversation with this person and not expecting anything more like you have fun, you're at an event, maybe with your friends, or maybe it's at a, you know, somewhere you're just stopping by or something. Like you just meet this person, you have a conversation, you don't feel obligated to do anything that you don't want to do. Like I feel like if you're normally the person who wouldn't give their number, you might this time. If you're someone who always gives their number out, you probably won't this time. Like, you know, like it's something like that, like where you do the thing that you usually don't do, like you stand up for yourself, you say no, or you say like, let's see, seven of pentacles. Like there's, there's a ton of people that I can get along with and talk to. I don't have to say yes to the first person that I bump into that I have something in common that I find somewhat attractive that I see, see some potential with, you know, and four swords. I can rest. Like, I feel like it's like wham bam. Like, I feel like it's like too much. It's like you're saying no to this person, and then this person comes in right after. And you're supposed to like have this. Like, I feel like it's too fast for you. You're just like, I finally said no to someone, and I'm supposed to like jump into a relationship with someone right out right away after. A sincere wish granted. Okay, so we have wishbone and sincere wish granted. I'm trying to figure out pulling like um clarifiers like crazy like spirit yeah ten of cups wish granted how what who what when where why can you just tell me good fortune yeah okay with this person another person what's going on the hermit card um i feel like you make the right call by not going with the first person you see after you say no to this last person. Yeah. And not being like, oh, this is going to be the, like, and not being stressed out. Like, oh, like, was that the right person? I'm not going to see them again. Like, I don't usually get people I'm interested in. And I said no to them. Like, no, you're going to feel okay just having a conversation with someone that you are somewhat attracted to that nothing more came of it. You know, like, it's fine. <laughs> like, you're, you're not gonna... Yeah. It's not, like, worth getting worried over. I feel like you're... The, the true test... Like, I feel like that one test was, like, actually saying no. And I feel like this is, like, the second actual final boss. Like, you... Like, the your boss's boss comes through. Time to get out of a situation. And you... Um, Your second test is like, well, after you say no to that person and you're feeling really good, are you just going to say yes to the next person come, that comes in that's like slightly interesting to do? If they don't ask for your number or if they do ask for your number but then don't call you back immediately or ask you out immediately or, you know, start texting you right away, like, are you going to freak out about that? Or are you going to be like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. If they do start talking to you, are you going to, like, not go crazy and overboard? Um, play it cool. Like, hey, this could lead somewhere. So it could not. It could not lead somewhere. 
And I do feel like spirit with the two of cups here, like I do feel like something happens where you obviously find someone that you get into a relationship with. Let me see if I can pull. Where's my timing deck? I always lose my timing deck. Okay. This person I got next couple of years. By the end of the day. Yeah, I think spirits like the lesson here is like not worrying about it's the wrong if it's the right um right person when it's going to happen, if it's going to happen. December, which this is a timeless reading, which is um about two months. A month and a half from when you're watching this and one more next couple of weeks so spirits kind of like don't think about like i think your lesson is mostly like can you say no to someone that you're not actually interested in can you not freak out if things don't go anywhere or you know after you have a conversation with someone you are actually in interested in and then when you do get, like you know start connecting with someone that has potential and they're interested and you're both making moves can you handle that connection in a healthy mature way as this new version of yourself so we have three tests there that's that's hope i made that that i hope i made that simple for you i couldn't have like outlined it better it took me a second to get there but like it, it, it was a big message. It was a pretty detailed message and it was very specific. And so pile three, I'm mean, sorry, pile four. If you pick this pile, you know, it, it seems like it's very clear the three tests that spirit has for you and that you're meant to kind of have this person that you marry or have a long-term commitment with and you're not supposed to worry about the timing. You're not supposed to worry about, you know, when and if or how or whatever. It's supposed to just, you're supposed to just let it happen. The spirit's like you're more mature than that. Like you're, you're more evolved than that person that you were. And you can prove it to yourself and you can prove it to the universe right now. You know, those three tests. So there you have it. I mean, it's laid out. Um... Let me know, Pile 4, if that resonates. Let me know if any other tarot card reader is doing that for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day, and I wish you much love and light.